Hey guys, today I'm reviewing RuneScape. It's a 3D, if you will, MMO, MMO, RPG game published by Jagex. It's a very, very, very popular game. Um, it's known as a browser game because you can run it in IE or Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you prefer. Um, it's actually very fun, but um, the only downside is that you have to pay for the overwhelming majority of the content out there. And it's, I think, it's $5.95 a month, but um, it's easy to subscribe and unsubscribe. So, if you're worried about that, don't be. Um, I'd say it's worth all the money that you put into it if you play it a lot. If you really don't play it that much, then... Maybe it's not worth it. I mean, if you're playing at least mm, 10 hours a week, then, yeah, you're getting your money's worth. Okay, so, right now I'm at Rock Crabs, which are good at training combat. And this game has combat skills, obviously. It has um, your melee, attack, strength, and defense. Um, and it has your your magic, just one skill for magic, one skill for range, and one skill... Oh wait, no, that's it. And you can choose to use magic, range, like bows and arrows, um, or be a melee fighter. Or you can be all three. You can be a combination of all three. You can just pick two or doesn't matter because you can um, have access to any of them at any time which is a um, pretty neat feature and your combat level just goes up as um, you gain more levels in the, the combat skills so right now I'm training attack in my melee um, I am a member I paid $5.95 for one month um, subscription to RuneScape. I think it's pretty worth it. Um, right now what my goal is I'm getting... I got my I just got my strength to level 50. I'm trying to get my attack to level 50 um, so I can use this granite mall. Um, I brought some food with me in case they do some the uh, rock crabs do some damage to me, which they won't because I have good defense. Well, okay defense. Good enough so they can't really do damage to me. Um, this is a members area, and it's heavily packed. Um, there's always people here, just about on every world. You can't go to any world without seeing people, at least one person, at any time. Um, as you can see, there's a whole lot of people over here. Um, it's just a very popular game, very fun. Okay, so, um, you have, I, I already explained the combat, you can train agility, which will, um, let you run longer, this is your run meter, um, that's how much run, how much you can run without getting tired and um, increasing your agility skill by training and going over obstacles and that kind of stuff. There are arenas for that. You can have more run energy and get um, less run, less tired or whatever, less quickly. Um, herb lore, you basically mix potions. It's like alchemy. Fishing, duh, you fish. Um, smithing, you make items out of ores. Um, thieving is a pretty cool skill, I think. You steal stuff, pretty much, from stalls, from people, from boxes, from locks. You pick locks. You do all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, cooking, you cook stuff, and that's about it. Um, prayer, a lot of useful prayer skills, especially for Peking. Um, crafting, very useful skill. Um, 
yeah, it's useful. That's about it. Um, fire making, you need it for some quests. That's all I can remember, but it's when you burn logs. Um, fletching is when you make arrows and you make arrows and bows and um, let's see, let's see, what do you make? You can make iron arrows, rune arrows, darts, crossbows, and bolts and some other stuff. Um, rune crafting, pretty handy, especially if you're a magic user. Um, you craft runes pretty much. You go to these altars and they have specific runes that you can craft runes with. Um, Slayer. I haven't really learned much about that, so I can't say much about it, but I know you slay, like, certain creatures. That's all I know. Farming, I don't really like it, but, um, you basically farm seeds and make patches and garden stuff. Construction, pretty cool skill. Um, you, it's what you use to build your house. Um, first you have to buy a house or whatever, but, um, you build stuff and then the skill level goes up so you can have more stuff and you can invite people over and all that kind of stuff. Um, it, high level construction costs a lot of money but it's really worth it. Hunter, I can't say that much about. Um, all I know is you can catch things and trap things and you can make good money off of it. Summoning, you summon familiars, you summon creatures. Um, you train, I, I forget how you train the skill, but it's when you, summoning is basically you summon creatures called familiars. Dungeoneering, I can't say much about that I know, but all I know is you go in these like instance dungeons, I think, I think, and you defeat monsters and you have to have certain skill requirements and you can wear these different equips and you get a ring or something. I can't remember. But um, those are all the skills. My total skill level is 235. You know, pretty newbie. A lot of my skills are just one because I haven't even bothered to train them yet. Um, okay, let's move on to the next thing. So, obviously monsters drop stuff when you kill them. Basic RPG element. Um, Let's see. I think I skipped wood cutting. Yeah, I skipped wood cutting. Um, you basically cut wood, and it's a great way of making money. And it goes goes along well with fire making. Um, all I think all the skills in this game are useful. I mean, you need different people for different things. You can require assistance from people who have a higher level skill than you, and they can help you do something. Um, right now, yeah, I told you I was in by rock crabs. There's some beautiful unicorns. Um, let's go back to Lumbridge. They call it Lummy. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and this game's not all about graphics. Um,. It's not all about graphics because you know it's not all about graphics. If you want a graphic game, this isn't for you. If you want a medium, okay, graphics game, and you don't care that much about graphics, this game's good for you. Um, I Let's see, what else do I need to review? Okay, I told you about all the skills. Um, you can have clans, you meet people... You can you can't party with them, but you can like clan them. Oh, the big probably the biggest thing in this game is PKing, player killing, where you go around and kill people in the wilderness, or they kill you and you lose all your stuff. Or it's kind of complicated, but if you know what PKing is from other games, then it's pretty related. Um, I would give RuneScape probably an 8 out of 10. Probably because there's so much to it and there's constant updates. And 
as you can see, you just go to RuneScape.com and you see their newest update. I mean, they just added clan stuff. Someone told me that they that that wasn't too awesome of an update, but whatever, they'll have better ones. Um, so yeah, um, the reason I only give it an eight out of ten is because they are known to be botters in this game, and what botters are, they are basically a computer playing for you so you don't have to be at the computer to play runescape and the bot is doing something for you so you, you're not even clicking the mouse you're not moving the keyboard you're not at the computer it's doing something for you so basically it's a computer playing runescape and um, there are so many bots there's not there's not enough to make it ruin the game, but there there's a lot of bots. And hacking, mm, I'm not too big on hacking. I have not seen hackers ever. And I've played this game five years on and off. Um, I've seen big changes since I started playing in 06, I think, or 07. Um, the biggest one I saw was HD graphics. I mean, they don't really look HD, but who knows. They're still a lot, a lot better than what they were in like 06 or 05, whenever the game started. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe to Glitcher on YouTube. Uh, bye.